Hello again. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is going to be a tutorial or try to educate someone how to sharpen a knife, at least the way I do it. I've had this off a friend. It's a sabatia, apparently, um, used for cutting meat, I believe. Um, it says inox, France. Inox means... Uh, uh, stainless steel basically um, in French. It's got an elephant on, I don't know whether that means any, to anyone. But um, it's about a foot long. Um, at the moment, it's not very sharp. It's it's not very sharp, should we say. Um, it won't, it will cut, but it's, as you can see, really rough and rugged. So, hopefully somebody who watches this might uh, take something um, from it and uh, put it to good use. So I've got my Japanese water stones. This is the 6,000 and 1,000. So we're going to start on the, the rougher side, obviously. The 1,000 side. Just let me get comfortable and we shall begin. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is decide what angle I want. Now that's zero degrees, that's 90 degrees. So you're looking at 45, 25, 22 and a half ish. But because this is a slicing knife designed for meat, I am literally just going to do, I'm hoping to get about 15 degrees uh, either side, maybe, you know, 12 to 15 degrees. So only, I'm only raising it up maybe an eighth of an inch or so. So a little bit of Bit more water on there and away we go so flat on the uh, place your knife flat on the stone make sure you've got the right the right edge raise it up to the desired angle and away we go so it's back and forth back and forth always keeping the, the knife at the same angle as best you can Hand sharpening, there will always be a minute variance, but so long as you, the more practice you get, the more capable you are of keeping it at the same angle. It's all about the shoulder and the arm, keeping the shoulder and the arm nice and straight. It's just back and forth rather than up and down. So you're just grinding the edge in all the way along the knife. Obviously, you keep going until the whole length of the blade's done. I'm not actually sure I've ever sharpened a knife quite this long. Although, I might have shown you, well, you might have, no, I haven't shown you yet, but I've got this that a friend's asked me to do. Um, so I'll be doing a video on sharpening that. I mean, that is. They're about the same size actually, but um, but this is done for a, a friend of mine called Emma, and I said I'd do it for her, so I thought I'd uh, combine it with a video to hopefully help someone out there sharpen a knife. So you just got to keep going along the blade. Keep it at the same angle all the way along. And then every so often, just get a towel, just wipe that. Uh, right, we're just getting a, a bit of an edge there, but not much. It is blunt, so it isn't going to be a two minute job. But the idea is to get this so sharp that uh, she can slice her Sunday, Sunday lunch or whatever she chooses to do with it really. So it's all technique, it's all practice. I mean I'm not as practiced as some, but I am certainly capable of getting a knife sharp. Uh, sharp enough to shave with, pretty much. So it's, uh, 
it's basically back and forth at the same angle making sure you do the whole length of the blade and when you do that you can come back I mean you could you can do it like that if you wish but I prefer this way and we're getting to the, towards the end of the blade now we'll do the end of the blade now that nice low angle and it's just repeat along the length of the blade basically obviously you want to do this both sides if you if you've got a V grind on it a V grind as opposed to a chisel grind or whatever but this just needs a nice acute V grind to do what it's designed to do so it's perseverance practice and when you become quite proficient and you get the hang of it it is very rewarding actually and it doesn't relatively speaking once you once you've got the knack and you know what you're doing it doesn't take that long really to get a knife that's in good condition but is just a bit blunt to you know nice and uh, nice and sharp so it can cut what it's supposed to cut Into the knife again. The sound will usually tell you if the sound is consistent and you're keeping the same angle. If you come too low, the sound will change. If you go too high, the sound will change. So you're looking for the same sound all the time, pretty much. So you know you're keeping the right angle. So, just wipe the blade and have a, a little look at the progress. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. This needs a bit more, a bit more work that side. Then I'll do this side, and then I'll come back and I'll I'll show you the next process. Um, so I'll carry on with that, I'll come back and then we'll, uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, so hopefully I'll see you in a minute. Bye for now.